Hi, it's Annette Denshin from Publicity Genie and I am on the online prosperity show with Prosper and we are talking all things public relations, storytelling and connecting you with your target audience to just boom your business and stand out. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show and today we've got the publicity genie herself. Annette, Annette, how are you doing, my love? Hi, Prosta. I am fantastic. Thank you very much. Another day, another dollar, another story. Understandable. Tell. Talking about stories, if you're a business person and you really want your business to be profitable and enjoyable, you're going to need um, the world to hear what your story is. Either it's your founding story, either it's what you're doing for the community, because if no one hears about you, no one is going to purchase from you. Now, that's the reason why we've brought in um, the publicity specialist herself, Annette, who's been working tirelessly to bring stories in and around Australia from a very early age. And now she's created her company, The Publicity Genie, where they help businesses like yourself with, um, you know, bringing out your story to the public um, using various traditional and non-traditional um, publicity ways uh, to raise your profile and to actually help you be your own publicity GD. Now, did I say that right, Annette? You did. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Now, tell me a little bit about what got you into, um, you know, publicity to start off with and what has inspired you to stay on uh, ever since. Okay. Well, uh, like a lot of people, my small business journey starts with, a um, traumatic event and you know about five years ago I was working in corporate communications so working in a not-for-profit space you know writing stories and annual reports and speeches and all that type of stuff for, um, you know the the executive team of an organization and they decided to restructure the marketing department and we were all gone in one day this you know, amazing role that I saw that I had had and that I had visions and goals for was gone. And I was 43 years old. Um, I know that's not dead, but to me it was like, you know, I'm middle-aged. The, the Queensland government had just wiped out 14,000 public service jobs and a lot of those were people, corporate comms people. And I was like going, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to go get a job at a supermarket because... No one's going to hire me now. And I met, I went to a weekend um, seminar with this guy called Stephen Esser and he was talking about being an expert. And at the time I really didn't feel like an expert. I actually felt like a bit of a loser. And my girlfriend like shoved me in the, the ribs and said, you're an expert. And I went, oh, no, I'm not. And she went, yeah, you are. You know how to get stories out to the media because my background is as a, a journalist. And I went, yeah, I suppose so. Doesn't everybody know how to do that? No, they don't. So here I am standing on stage with 11 other people pitching an idea for a webinar. And mine was, you know, how to get a million dollars in free publicity. Here are the five secrets. And the audience loved it. And within 36 hours, I created this webinar and this training package, which I delivered live. Oh, my God, Prosper, I thought my heart was going to bounce out of my chest. <laughs> and my business was born. And it hasn't quite evolved how I thought it would, would as all things do. But the one thing that remains constant is my love for stories and my absolute rock-solid belief that everyone, everyone has a story to tell and there is a platform out there for you to tell your story. And that's part of what we, we magically do is that we believe PR is everything you say and do. It's not just about the media. It's about how you show up online. It's how you show up at networking. It's how you conduct your webinars and it's how you connect with people through your story. And that's how Publicity Genie was born. We're five years old this year. And, you know, we've got some big things coming up, changing and adapting like all good entrepreneurs do. Understandable. Well, thank you so much for that. I mean, obviously, it, it comes in at a time when um, you were built out of 
stress, but diamonds need to be cut, you know, in order for them to, to shine. So congratulations for turning that uh, negative into a positive and creating a story out of that. Now, going back to actually telling a story, um, a lot of entrepreneurs find it difficult to talk about themselves. Now, how does Publicity Genie um, come in or how can you sort of let uh, people are aware that it's in the story that, you know, people and riches lie. Okay. So we, whenever we start working with someone and like what you said is just so common and I don't know whether it's just an Australian thing or if it's a global thing, but so many of us diminish the um, accomplishments and successes and challenges that we've had in our life. And what well, gee, I even still do it and go, Really, you know, it's like when you say to someone, oh, what a beautiful dress, and they go, this old thing. Because, you know, like we've got this fear of standing out because when you stand out, people can pull you down and none of us want that to happen. So we spend, you know, a couple of hours with our clients ask, just asking them lots of questions. You know, we've got a little sheet that we go through that, you know, anybody can do this as, you know, like what are your accomplishments? What have been your challenges? You know, what's been the hardest thing that you've ever done? What are you most embarrassed about? What are you most um, proud of? Um, you know, what have you been recognised for? And then just start that process of talking. And, and I often find 45 minutes in, the real gold starts happening and you really get a, a deep insight into people and their motivation and their purpose and their reason for what they're doing. And you go that's your story there. You know, you mentioned before your, you know, I call it your hero story. And by saying hero story, that doesn't mean something bad has ha had to happen to you. You know, quite often people think, well, I can't tell my story because, you know, I haven't overcome major trials and tribulations. But every step that you take, particularly in your business journey, is a lesson for people looking in from the outside. It's a way for people to connect. So that's what we do is we pull those stories out of people um, and, and, and help them feel comfortable. And, and part of that comfort comes from having someone else tell your story. But the, the really beautiful thing about, you know, telling your story is that you can write it in third person. Like you can, don't even have to use I, me. You can just use he, she and go, oh, my God, that person's amazing. And then you realize that that's you because we are all amazing. Great stuff. Like you say, you know, your story is the most powerful marketing assets. People buy from people and people buy from those that they know, like, and trust. Now, how does you um, being uh, put in the public eye or using PR, how does that help with uh, a person's credibility um, you know, in, in raising their profile in, in, in their, you know, journey or in their work. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, third party credibility, you know, when someone else is talking about you, you know, you think about why you, you go to a restaurant or you go see a movie or, you know, you interact with somebody after someone has said, you know what, they're pretty good. When your story appears, particularly in the media, it's, a journalist or a media podcast, you know, like being invited onto your show. It's like you asked me on, I didn't chase you. You went, well, you know, I've been watching this chick around and she's doing some good stuff. I'm going to share her story. So when um, you use PR to do that, it adds to that third party credibility, that word of mouth testimonial. Um, but even if you're using PR from a social media perspective, and let's face it, I think it's like 94% of Australians are on Facebook and Instagram is, is very quickly growing behind that, is that we're part of all of these groups and telling your story and connecting that way also, and this is another way that PR is incredibly powerful, is it creates relationships. Storytelling creates connection. Storytelling and giving. So from a PR perspective is one of the other amazing stories that you can tell is the problems that you solve for your prospective clients or the clients you already have. So we're all in business because we've got a solution to someone's problem. And 
by sharing solutions. And, you know, like a lot of people have this fear of, you know, giving away too much. If I give all my good stuff, like they're not going to do business with me. They can go off and do it themselves. But you know what? Most people won't because we don't have the time and we don't have the capacity. So we need the expert to do that. But by putting, like I call them breadcrumbs. It's like, you know, like leading back to away from granny's house so you can find your way home is if you drop those breadcrumbs for your prospective clients, they're going to see that you care enough to be open and sharing and they're going to build a relationship with you through that process and then they're going to want to do business with you. You've already said that people do business with people. They don't do business with publicity, Jeannie. They do business with Annette or with Rebecca who is my, you know, right-hand chicky bay. They like us and we generally deliver good results. And when we don't, we're really open and forthright about that because PR is about honesty as well. Right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Talking about honesty and everything else. Um, what, what sort of change can somebody experience if they fully utilize, you know, PR services, maybe yourself or somebody else in their business? Okay, look, I, I think that if we go right back to the beginning is, is that any marketing and PR is not a magic bullet. So if you're sitting there going, oh my God, no one knows about me, I'm going to go and work with Publicity Genie and all my problems will be solved. No. The key word in public relations is relations, relationships. They take time to build. You have to be committed to the process. You've got to understand that uh, your profile you're not going to be stand out and be noticed in a, a month in six weeks in three months because if you think about all the really genuine long-lasting relationships in your life they've been forged over time now when you're connecting with people you know back in the day it was you know five or six touches to close a sale now it can be anywhere up to 21 times someone needs to interact with you before they go, you know what, I'm going to hand over my hard-earned money and get you to weave your magic. And that's hard because we all want, you know, we're all these like five-year-olds standing in front of a microwave oven waiting for our popcorn to, to go off in under three minutes. And it's like, come on, three minutes is too long. So for me, PR is also a... <laughs> The, one of the, the best personal development processes that you can do in your business because it's about delayed gratification. It's about planting a seed, watering it, nurturing it and watching it grow and then going, okay, I'm ready to pick that fruit. So if you can do that over time, and this is how I've grown my business. I mean, I, I was lost my job, had a redundancy payout that I actually just squandered because I spent six months sulking and not working instead of putting it to work for me. And then I went, okay, so I'm going to start this business. I've got no money. How am I going to pay for advertising and marketing if I can't afford anybody to help me? Okay. I'm just going to have to do this the, the long way. And that is by connecting with people by genuinely going, you know what, I've got some stuff that I think can help you and can make a difference in your business and I'm going to share it with you. So that's how PR can work with you. Great stuff. No, that's, that's amazing. And you're talking about relationships. It takes 21 years old to be actually 21. And I remember we did have an interaction. Was it four or five years ago when you wrote a story about me in the Y magazine and Today, we actually get to talk. So <laughs> you can imagine how starstruck I am right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You make me giggle. <laughs> All right. So obviously, I mean, uh, people would have been watching this episode and they're thinking to themselves, I really need to find out how I can do this um, either for myself or, you know, get a, an expert like yourself. How can people get a hold of you there, uh, Annette? Well, on my website, there's a contact form which goes to my calendar and you can book in for a 15 to 30 minute, like I always say it's 15, but I just love talking to people. It always ends up being much longer. 
um, and have a chat with me and talk about, you know, I'll ask you where you're at, what you've been doing, what have been your biggest frustrations, you know, what your expectations are because that's really important when you begin a journey of, of marketing and promoting your business with, um, you know, like a, a service provider is what are your expectations. So I know right up front how I can meet those. So go to my website, publicitygenie.com or hello at publicitygenie.com. You can email me directly or, you know, I'm all over Facebook. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to track down uh, Annette Detchum on Facebook and, and private message me and you know, more than, ha you know, it, it, it may or may not be the, the thing for you right now, but, you know, I'm fairly certain that within 15 minutes I can say to you, like, I don't think there's one person I've spoken to that I've not gone, oh, well, I could, we could do this, this and this and this right off the bat. We should be doing this or we could write this story or you need to fix up your website or you need to just, it's just so exciting, Prosper, the, the, the possibilities. Um, so that's how people can get in contact with me. That was a long answer to a short question. So viewers, you might be arming and ahhing and, and trying to figure out how you can also get publicity for your business and how you can actually find the story that um, would help you reach out to your target audience so you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, for you to get publicity and to be seen as the go-to person, you really want to get your business in the media and be found by your ideal client. Now, Annette is here to help you if you're an entrepreneur, you're an author or a speaker or some sort of small business person that really needs to uh, stand out and be noticed within your niche. The publicity genie is always here to help out if you rub her in the right way. Now, Annette, just in case, <laughs> Love that. just in case, um, you know, somebody is probably just sitting on the fence. Do you have any just DIY tips that uh, somebody can, you know, start doing right now? Like you said, it is a journey and it is personal development. So before they bring their um, story to a professional, they might already start doing certain things that would, um, you know, either make your job easy or make the transition a little bit easy. Absolutely. The first thing, the most important thing is know who your target audience is because you cannot have a conversation, you cannot build a relationship with someone who needs your solution. If you don't know who they are, you don't know what their pain points are, you don't know where they're hanging out. And that's a big mistake that people make with their marketing and their PR is that they want to be on the Today Show, but their target audience doesn't watch the Today Show and then they invariably end up disappointed because they don't get the volumes of calls that they're looking for. So you really need to take the time to sit down and work out who that person or that group of people is so that you can build the next thing, your key messages. What are the really important things that people need to know about what you do. And I highly recommend that they spend some time really nailing their brand story and, and working with, you know, um, professionals who can help them do that. Um, there's, there's one on the Gold Coast, Lauren Clement from Ultimate Business Propeller, and she is just amazing. And we work a lot together. People start with her and get all of that foundational stuff in place. So when they get to me, we can actually move a lot quicker because I'm not trying to catch up and learn everything about the, that groundwork because it's presented to me in a document. Um, and also sit down and start brainstorming the problems that you solve, the solutions that you offer. They are the start of all of your stories because you, whether you're blogging or you're doing a video or a webinar or whatever the PR is that you're doing, is that people want to know how you can help them. So really get clear on that. And then write your story. Your story is the most important story that you have. And whether it's on your About Us page or it's on your, your Facebook or what, wherever it is, you really need to be able to um, connect with people using that. Great stuff. Okay. Fantastic. Well, Annette, I can't thank you enough for your time um, with us today and, you know, dropping in all this value and all this knowledge regarding um, how people can actually present themselves 
to the mass media, um, you know, sharing their story and actually sharing their services. Thank you so much for your time today. Prosper, thank you very much for having me. I'm very honoured to have been asked. And I, I get really excited about the possibilities that people have with their story. So if I can just inspire a handful of people to go, you know what? I'm not sharing enough. I'm going to make that happen. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, great. So how do you think we went? I think we went well. Yeah? Um, yes. <laughs> well, how do you think we went? Oh, I've got my... my oh, I'm so glad that we finished that there because my computer went... I'm getting all excited. I pulled the plug out of the wall and it's like... Oh, and the battery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. We, oh, no, we... no, that was, that was awesome. It's Yeah, it's funny the things that come up when people ask you questions about... Uh, yeah, I don't normally talk about myself that much, but maybe I, I needed to today. Well, thank you. Thank you for opening up to us. I mean, obviously, it's, it's only Prosper. Um, 